Have you ever approached a project and asked yourself, is there a more efficient way to build this? I know Elon Musk has when he developed Tesla and created new manufacturing processes. Well, today on Ricksaw, I'm going to show you a new building method that I've been able to utilize and build a torsion box style workbench with the primary goal of reducing how much plywood I'm using. Now, full disclosure with this build, I don't know if this is an original idea. It was something that I've been thinking about doing and I wanted to reduce my plywood use. So there could be other examples of this out in the web and on YouTube that I haven't seen yet. Now, this particular design is based off of a smart workbench by Ron Polk, okay? And so with this build, what my main goal was, was to build something that reduced the amount of plywood I've used. Now, if you're familiar with the smart workbench, it uses a router to cut out the center of the different workbench pieces, okay? There's a top, a bottom, and then some sides that you'll route out the center of. Well, with my methodology, I wanted to use two different joint types to be able to accomplish something similar with the main goal of reducing plywood consumption. Number one is the half lap. The half lap joint is effectively two pieces of wood that have been cut so that the lapping joint is the same dimension as if it was not cut. So as you can see here, the half lap joint laps over each piece and then once they're put together, it's the same dimensions as the original piece. This type of joint is gonna be able to give me the strength to secure the workbench in this way. Now, the second method is a cross lap. Cross lap is where I'm effectively taking uh, one piece and putting it in the center of the piece of wood. So let's glue up our final piece using half lap and cross lap joints, and I'll show you how everything works. All right, so what I'm doing here is I have my half lap joint set up. I'm going to apply glue to all of these areas and then connect it like so. I'm using a acid flux brush and I'm just gonna brush in the glue to all of the areas. What I like to do with plywood is put on a layer of glue and then come back and add a layer. That way it'll, it soaks into the plywood. I'll just add a little bit more. All right, and then what I'm doing here is lining it up using my corner clamp. I'm gonna squeeze, get as much glue squeeze out as I can. I'm gonna use my corner clamp, line everything up. Make sure my lap joints are nice and tight. Tighten everything down. Okay, and then I'll come back and put a couple pins in there. All right, then what I'm gonna do is work on the other end. And I'm gonna work down here and get the two ends set. And then I'm gonna come back and glue the center. The remaining pieces that we have to connect are the cross lap joints, okay? That's these two in the center, all right? Now, I'm not too worried about be these being square, but they're gonna register square because I've cut the dados in here square as well. And so I'm just gonna go ahead, add some glue, crank these down, hit them in place. So we're gonna let this dry. Uh, after it's dry, we're gonna come back and do the pocket holes. The next steps are to get the pocket hole screws drilled in to the top of the frame structure. I'm doing only the top because that's where the melamine top of the workbench is gonna connect to. 
So with that done, we are here at this stage where I have the frame built. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take the pocket holes facing down, connect that to the top of the workbench upside down, and then I'm gonna use some clamps to keep it in place while I drive my uh, screws in. All right, so what I'll do is I'll go around the perimeter and get the frame structure secured to the top. I'll be right back. All right, so for the final step, what I've done is I've cut a few pieces of scrap to set the distance from one side to the center divider. I'm gonna use that same scrap, transfer it over here, and use that as a spacer to set the center dividers on each end. All right, so recap what we've done. I've connected using pocket holes uh, the top to the frame structure. I'm and I have it currently upside down. I then went in and connected the middle pieces, the middle support pieces. And what I'm going to do now is set the bottom on and then screw the bottom on from the bottom to the frame structure. We'll flip it over and we'll give it a, a once over. All right, that's the next step. All right, so we finished assembling all the pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up. So it's a torsion box style workbench with half lap and cross lap joints to build the frame structure. And I think it came out pretty darn good. You can catch us on a future episode where we're gonna build a mobile base for this new workbench out of plywood as well. So stick around and make sure you like and subscribe as we dive into more projects to really outfit this workshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.